Hello everybody, it's movie time again on maneuverability of ships and this time specifically on your stability of ships. In my last movie about the directional stability of ships under wind I mentioned this your stability and afterwards I get a lot of questions. What is this on earth, your stability? So I decided to start a, even a series of movies on your stability for to explain uh, this effect and uh, to give some ideas on the identification of this effect and on the effects on steering motion of the vessel. So in, within this series I will explain the basic principles, then I will show some maneuvers, spiral tests, pull out tests and zigzag tests and their specific uh, um, uh, shapes of the results with respect to your stability and different effect of the ship like loading conditions uh, and other uh, aspects. For today I will start with basic, princi basic principles and the effect of your stability for a sample of a cruise vessel. So this is the topic today and uh, the question might be what will be unique and what will be important what you take uh, away with this uh, movie. Uh, on the first is what strange effects we have that a ship can uh, cruise with midship rudder to starboard and also to port. And for another ship or another loading condition, you always go on a straight track, even under the effect of some disturbances like waves and wind gusts. And I will explain these effects uh, first with the general uh, explanation on stability. I did it already in the wind movie. And then I will explain the forces which are uh, responsible to exactly make these effects. The first question is what is yawing? Yawing is the rotation around the vertical axis so always when the ship is turning there will be a yawing motion and this is of importance um, for the turning motion of the ship at the high rate of turn for instance in a turning circle or at a low rate of turn if the ship is going nearly straight. And these both conditions should be uh, um, discussed when talking about yawing stability. So the first is what is stability then? Stability um, is always a matter of steady state equilibrium conditions. And um, in a stable equilibrium, for instance, uh, if a ball is in such a hole uh, and it, it will be pushed out of this hole, then it rolls back. So obviously it seems to be a stable condition. And in contrast, if the ball is on such a hill and there's a small disturbance, then it rolls to one or to the other side. So this obviously is an unstable equilibrium. Uh, by the way, I made a nice movie in the, I hope it's nice, in the wind uh, stability movie where I used a lemon fruit in a, in a bowl to demonstrate the stability of that bowl. So, to sum it up, stability can only be discussed for steady state equilibrium conditions. Um, so no acceleration um, and these steady state conditions can be characterized either by a constant speed or a constant course or a constant position, a constant rate of turn. And there are uh, two aspects of, uh, of the stability. Stable equilibrium conditions. That means the system turns or returns after a small disturbance back in the stable equilibrium conditions. 
And there could be an unstable equilibrium, like here. The system deviates from these equilibrium conditions and uh, seeks another stable equilibrium. Importance for ship handling maneuvering, high stability is of advantage, for instance, to keep course, or low stability might be good if you want to change your rate of turn or to go from a straight track into a, a turning circle very fast. Then it's not so good if the ship is very stable. So we will discuss all these issues. And um, to give you a sample of uh, the yaw stability, I will start first with turning motion. Uh, and specifically where we have a relative high turning rate um, and uh, then we want to apply a disturbance. Uh, for instance, of five degree heading, like a push of a wind gust or a wave or whatsoever. And I will use the cruise ship model in my fast time simulation tool uh, of the AIDA Blue in steady state turning. So I have to change now to the fast time simulation mode. Here we are. So the ship is here. And for the time being, it has a heading of nine degree uh, and it's uh, in, a, in a steady state turning motion. Uh, the speed is uh, uh, for the time being because it's uh, reduced because the ship is in the turning motion is about six knots, although the engine order is full ahead. And this fast time simulation means if I change something of the handles here, it will immediately result in uh, change. For instance, if I change the rudder back to 20 degrees, then you immediately see, oh, this is a new turning circle. I will go back to 30, 20, so this is 35, this is 30 degree. So we are here on that turning circle. What happens if we have a push due to the wind gust, for instance, to push the bow in this direction? So the heading would change and I will do it here. Uh, the heading will change. I will do it by my small tableau. Um, the heading changes from nine degree now to one five uh, degree. So if I do that, enter, then you immediately see from the magenta initial situation, now we get a new turning circle here. So the ship what we see is the ship goes immediately again on a turning circle and with the same rate of turn. So the turning radius and the rate of turn and the speed uh, very fast um, recovers to the initial condition. The turning circle is a little bit shifted into this direction because due to this push and the high damping rate of this ship, I will explain that later, uh, it immediately goes on the original track back a little bit shifted. And I will now load another ship which is a little bit dynamically different. This is now the second sample ship, Costa Fortuna. It's another cruise ship. And uh, also here we have uh, the ship in constant turning you see that the shapes of the ships every minute they have the same distance so obviously the ship is in a steady state turning motion and now i will also add a disturbance that means a push by for instance the wind will bring the bow out five degree of heading change so i change the heading here for the time being it's nearly north, zero degree, and we change it now to five degree, enter. And then we see the same as with the other ship, that the ship immediately recovers uh, to the initial turning motion and uh, goes onto a turning circle, which is again a little bit shifted. So due to the high damping of the forces, I will explain that later, the ship is uh, coming back soon 
to the stable equilibrium conditions. To summarize these both turning circle motions, we have here the Aida Blue and here the Costa Fortuna. And you see uh, that after the application of the disturbance, uh, the ship goes from the magenta turning circle into the blue line. And both ships have nearly the same behavior. Uh, the conclusion from this is that in both conditions, the ships are very stable in this turning motion. With high rate of turn, the damping is also very high. And therefore, the ships recover very soon to their initial condition on the same rate of turn, same speed they had in the initial situation at the beginning of this maneuver. Okay, now let's explain how it comes. Uh, what is the stability? And I will use a slide uh, which I had already shown in my movie about the turning circle dynamics where I demonstrated how the ship is uh, moving after the appl application of a rudder force goes into a drift motion and then into a rate of turn and comes finally to the equilibrium of transverse forces in a steady state turning circle. And we have explained the forces and I will only explain and focus on the equilibrium condition during the turning circle. We have on one hand the rudder force. The rudder force uh, points outward and therefore turns the ship in this direction. Here you see the moment. The moment turns due to the rudder turns in this direction. Then we have the drift force because the ship has here a tremendous drift angle and therefore we have a, a lift force due to the drift angle it's pointing in this direction. It adds to the same turning direction as the rudder. And then we have um, the centrifugal forces which are pointing outward and uh, the last but most important for stability is this damping force. Uh, the damping force acts on the aft end of the ship at the stern and you can imagine how it, uh, how it comes. So we know that the ship stern swings out in a turning motion and so due to this motion we have in return a pressure on the stern and this is responsible for this damping force and uh, due to the rate of turn r. And we will only discuss this equilibrium in the next slide. And my experimental setup is that we apply also here a disturbance, pushing the bow into the turning circle. And then we want to see what happens. If we have this push, then the heading changes a little bit. So that means we have a delta beta, an additional drift angle. This drift angle is leading to an increase of the unstable force here. And in return, also the rate of turn is changing, it's increasing. And the question is, can the increase of the unstable moment due to the bigger drift angle, uh, can this be counteracted by the additional damping moment because the ship is also turning a little bit more. And then there are, how to say, two cases. If yes, if the damping force uh, is able to stabilize the ship, then the ship would come back to the same initial condition. This ship condition is called your stable then, and it means that the ship goes again on the turning circle with the same radius uh, and the same equilibrium of forces and uh, the radius or the turning circle is only a little bit shifted. So this is if a ship is stable. And I should tell that in turning motion, specifically with high rate of turn, ships are normally 
always stable. So we don't have to discuss here an unstable condition. The unstable conditions are more a threat if the initial rate of turn is very small to zero. That means the ship is going on a straight track. And there it is uh, important to know what happens if a disturbance is acting on a straight track. I will show that the initial condition is now with low rate of turn. So the ship is going with zero rate of turn on the straight track. And again, here we want to apply a disturbance to see what happens to this ship and also to another ship. Okay, here again, it's now the AIDA Blue going straight with full ahead and the um, rudder is a midship. It's a twin screw vessel with counter rotating propeller, so there's no neutral rudder angle necessary to keep the ship straight. And the question is what happens if we add here again a certain disturbance and uh, the ship heading is for the time being zero degree and I change it to only five degree and we will see what happens. So what we see is that the ship is going on to another course but also with the, the uh, rate of turn is already zero and the heading is now 6.2 degrees so due to the small change of heading due to this push the ship has moved to this side and uh, if we do that to the other side um, I'm going now to 355 degree in the beginning what happens then we see the same thing happens to the other side but most important the ship gets back to the same initial condition on straight track the turning rate will be zero so it's a stable condition obviously now we will do the same thing with the Costa Fortuna okay now we are back I have loaded the Costa Fortuna now in the same position here and the ship is going with full ahead so 23 knots the ship has and now we want to apply the same disturbance here first from port to starboard I change the heading here from zero degree from zero degree I change the heading to five degrees enter and this will be the result isn't that crazy the ship obviously doesn't come back on a straight track it turns to this side and strangely enough if we use um, now a disturbance pushing the ship first in this direction so by 355 degree enter then we see the opposite happens now the ship is turning to port side so obviously the straight motion of that ship is not a stable condition so to sum it up in this um, slide we have seen for the AIDA Prima the uh, straight track obviously is a stable condition and if we apply a certain disturbance of heading to starboard or to port always the ship comes back on the initial straight motion there's a, a certain course deviation because we have used a force onto the ship to either side uh, but for the Costa Fortuna if we apply on the straight motion five degrees so we get one time a turn starboard turning and the second time a port turning circle uh, so it depends on a disturbance said the conclusion is the left ship is stable returning to the state motion straight motion and the right ship is unstable going on to a turning circle um, we should also discuss what's happened what happens here so I have 
the equilibrium here now, the ship is on a straight motion here. Uh, and I will demonstrate how it comes in an unstable condition that the ship is not keeping its state. Uh, the experimental setup is, again, what happens if in this steady state equilibrium on state motion a small disturbance hits the ship. And uh, in this case the disturbance should hit the ship to this side. So here a delta beta, a drift angle, occurs. And so what happens? This is leading to an increase of the unstable force at the bow. That means the uh, unstable force due to the drift angle. And this produces a turning moment in this direction. The question is, can the increase of this unstable moment be counteracted by the damping moment at the aft end of the ship again? If not, for instance, you can imagine if the ship is trimmed to the bow, then these unstable forces here are much higher than the damping forces acting on the stern. Uh, in this case, the ship would change its course as we have seen it. And the idea is then, what is the balance of the transverse forces? And I have tried to, to show it here. So on one hand, we have the transverse forces due to the drift angle, the so-called unstable force and moment. We have again the centrifugal forces because the ship is moving on a turning circle. Um, therefore, we have a damping force at the stern. And because the rudder is still in midship condition, it's also a small force on the rudder because the rudder is also uh, moving out and the sh uh, because the stern swings out. And what you see here, if you sum up all these forces and they have the same magnitude as the centrifugal, for centrifugal forces, then we have an equilibrium. And the same happens for the moments. So obviously it is possible that this ship is going with a midship rudder on a turning motion. Even more or even worse, you also could put the rudder a little bit to the port side then and still the ship would move in this direction. This happens for very unstable ships. So even with the rudder to the other side, you can go uh, rudder to port, you can go in a starboard turning circle for an unstable ship. Um, so this initial situation here is called unstable. So the conclusion on the yaw stability of ships, what we have learned is a ship in a certain condition is called to be yaw stable if a small disturbance or perturbation in drift angle or rate of turn or even a small push of the rudder and then back will decrease to zero with the time uh, flying by uh, elapsed. The rudder in this case is only passive. It's not used for steering control. And then we have learned there are two cases to discuss. If the initial condition is on a turning circle, like here, the ship will come back to this turning motion with the same rate of turn according to the rudder angle. But the ship's new turning circle might be a little bit shifted in comparison to the initial turning circles. And what we see is most ships are stable on a turning circle because the damping in the turning is very high. And the second case, initial situation on a straight path, if the turning rate or the yawing rate is uh, zero, then um, two cases can be seen. First, we have here a stable ship. It deviates from the initial track, heading, course, and goes on a new track, but it's characterized by the same rate of turn, so zero. The ship goes straight. 
if this condition is unstable, um, then the ship will, the motion will result in a turning circle. You only can come out of this turning circle by counter rudder. And for some ships, you need really big counter rudder angles, 10 or 20 degrees. And uh, the, 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 the direction of the turning motion, either it's port or starboard, depends on the disturbance where the ship has started. And the conclusion on the mechanics, your stability is a, is a characteristic of steady state equilibrium condition. So the initial situation. And it's mainly a characteristic of the ship's hull form with constant rudder angle, so we don't control the course. And it might depend on trim, draft, and also other elements of the ship hull form. I will tell that in my next movie. And it works as follows. The unstable moment and forces due to the drift, these forces working at the bow section of the ship, close to the bow, so the fore part of the ship, and they must be superseded by the damping forces. And the damping moment and forces due to the rate of turn, they are working mainly at the aft end, at the stern of the vessel, and also at the rudder, because if the ship is turning, also the rudder will be affected by the inflow to the rudder uh, due to the rate of turn. That's it. The next movie will then be how can we identify whether a ship is stable or not? What are the ranges of stability? Uh, and this will be demonstrated by the so-called spiral test. Okay, look for the next movie.